Hey, how's it guys? In this video, we're going to look at how to answer a data analysis interview question by Amazon using Pandas. So the question is called finding user purchases. And the question difficulty is rated medium. Now let's look at the uh, question description first. Write a query that would identify returning active users. A returning active user is a user that has made a second purchase within seven days of any other of their purchases. And the output is going to be a list of user IDs of those uh, returning active users. All right, so here, uh, let's look at the table first. So if we look at the table name, the table is called Amazon Transactions. So we know right away that the table is going to host the transactions records. Now from the uh, preview, we have five counts. So that means uh, we don't have a lot of columns to work with, which is a good thing. All right, so let me go back to the question. So I want to identify the returning active users that has made a second purchase within seven days of any other purchase. So here we have user ID, item, created ads, and revenue. And since the question is only asking for returning users, we only need to use user ID and created ads counts. Now, uh, my first approach is to uh, sort the data set by user ID followed by, by the created ads column. So here I'm going to reference the uh, table first, Amazon transactions. Then I'm going to uh, sort the table using the sort values method. And I want to sort by user ID first followed by created ads column. And for the sorting order, I'm going to sort both columns by a certain order. So I'm going to uh, reference the ascending parameter and I'll insert list and I'll insert two for both columns. All right, so here let's do this. I'll name the output as df. And I'll grab the user ID column in the created ads column. Oh, this should be a, a list. All right, so uh, let's look at user ID 100 first. So here we have the uh, first purchase, uh, which is made on uh, March 7. And the second purchase is made on uh, uh, March 13. So within seven days, uh, this person has made a second purchase. That means we can say that user ID 100 is a returning user. Now let me look at the question again. And to identify returning users, any user that has made a second purchase within seven days of any other of their purchases. So as long as a user has made a second purchase within seven days, then we can say that's a returning user. All right, so here let me insert a new column. I'll name the column, uh, next purchase. So I want to populate the next purchase date. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to shift the uh, position of each row on the created ads column uh, by one row. All right, so I'm going to uh, group everything using the group by method. And I want to group by user ID. Then I'm going to reference the created ads column. And I want to ship everything by row. All right, so let me take a look at the result. All right, so, uh, oh, so uh, this is going to be DF. All right, so if we look at the output, so here we have the first purchase, I will just made on uh, March 7. And from the next purchase column, we have the uh, next purchase dates. Now we just need to figure out the date difference between next purchase and created ads uh, dates. All right, so here I'm going to reference next purchase column minus created ads column. 
And because uh, both columns are date time object, so we can uh, subtract uh, both values and convert that to days. And I'll name the column number of days since purchase. And here uh, it's giving me an error. Oh, I know why, because I forgot to reference the uh, DT attribute. And this will convert uh, the output's uh, daytime object. And therefore, we can uh, reference the days attribute. All right, so if we look at uh, the output again, from the uh, last column, number of days since purchase, we just need to return all the records. Actually, now return all the records. We just need to figure out from all the users, as long as from the uh, fourth column or the last column, if any number is less or equals to uh, seven, then we know that's a returning user or customer. So what we can do here is we can say, let's do this. I want to insert a condition or expression. All right, so I want to return all the records that is less or equals to seven based on number of days since purchase column. And since the question is only asking for a list of users' IDs, so we're going to reference user ID column. And finally, we need to uh, remove the duplicates using the job underscore duplicates method. And now name the output solution. All right, so let's take a look. So this is going to be a list of uh, customers that we identified uh, as returning users or customers. I'm going to uh, click on check solution. All right, so I guess uh, this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And if you found this video useful, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.